Get him on shore, look at you. Fish on, get in there, bait, baby. Welcome back to another great day in the indoors, of sports and tradition. I'm Bryce. And I'm Kip. And we're actually almost outside. We're in the garage. That close. That close. It's 118 the last two days here, so it's not getting any better. But we got a project for you today. We have some friends, Les and Frank, coming over here. Um, we're going to turn your favorite seven mag from black to camo. Yes, sir. So we're going to show you how we do it. You get to be uh, along for the ride. I can't wait. I've seen two guns that Les has done and they look marvelous. So let's see what we have in store. We're here with our friends Les and Frank today. They're going to be painting our gun from black to camo. So Les, what are we going to be doing today? Hey, first of all, Bryce, thanks for having us out. We're gonna do is we're gonna clean the gun, get all the oils off of it. We're gonna take the uh, barrel and action assembly out of the stock so we can make sure we get everything cleaned up and then we can get paint on there when we're done. So we'll mark off the uh, optic where we wanna keep our uh, information for dialing it up and down. We're gonna cover up uh, the lenses and tape them off so that we don't get anything in there that we don't want. And it's just a process and just one step at a time and then we'll get it done. When we get it done, you'll have a camel rifle and that'll be it. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'll give you that concern, it's just the action. Bolts removed. So it's a it's a safe process right now. Clearing the dust, most of the dust off, and then we'll, uh, I use uh, brake cleaners to clean it up and get all the oils off. I'm not saying there's not better ways, but I'm doing it, so we're going to do it my way. All right, and I've had success with it in the past. If you want to protect the brand name of your scope, you're going to want to your optic, you're going to want to cover that up with tape. Now don't mess up your optic doing this. Get something in there. I'm going to put these, I'm using these thin little, not cotton balls. Cotton balls can work and shove them in there, but these work better for, at least in my experience. Again, there might be a better way, and I just don't know it, but here's what we're going to use today. We're going to put, we're going to shove those two in there to be an absorbent in case anything gets in there. We don't want any brake cleaner getting there or paint getting any on your optics. So we're gonna put those in there, we're gonna tape over them and that's what that's gonna look. We're gonna do the same on this side. Okay, so on this stuff, on this tape, there's not a lot to stick it to. If we wrap it around, we're not gonna cover that with the camo. So we're just gonna have to be careful and diligent while we do this process to make sure that we're covering the end of these, the, the optics and when we're there um, nothing getting inside. And then we have the cotton packed inside both to check anything that absorb anything that might seep through just in little tiny amounts. So we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go ahead and spray this down with brake cleaner and uh, get it ready for our first coat. We went uh, with the lighter color first. Yeah, the sand. The sand. Yep. I've, I've done it both ways where I've started with the sand, mm -hmm. where I've started with like uh, this one's the, the earth brown. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you start with the sand, you, you end up with a kind of a lighter colored camo, right? And if you start with the darker, it'll just be darker with lighter tints. So for this one, I decided to go with the sand and uh, it, it'll be the light base and then we'll put flashes of darker proceedingly darker colors on it cool so the colors we're using are sand yep and uh, forest, forest green, green 
earth brown, and army green. And army green. Yep. And hey, it's uh, it's just Rust-Oleum camouflage paint. Yeah. All right. So you can buy it. I got this stuff at Ace Hardware. Uh, home Depot sells it. Cow Ranch sells it. Um, uh, but yeah, just Rust-Oleum, and uh, you know, don't don't worry about too much. You know, if you, if you don't like it, you can repaint it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I saw the two that you've done already. They look really nice. So today, finished up, last night we ran out of sunlight, so we finished up the, the paint job today. These are just a couple of others that we've done in the past. We'll bring that gun in here once we get it reassembled, it's drying now. First we start off by cleaning the gun, let's start there. Uh, just use brake cleaner, again that's my method of doing it. You might have a better one or there might be, brake cleaner works for me. Today we started with the uh, base coat, the sand, I moved up to the army green and we uh, jumped to uh, the next uh, the darkest of the earth brown and then what we did while we were doing that you can see I just draped these leaves around it it doesn't need to be anything fancy you can see this one got the brunt of it and we're just draping it over and hitting it with paint draping it over and hitting it with paint draping it and these are hanging so they're vertical and I'm just using it as a blocker for the paint to spread out the, the blocks and paint and create a pattern um, not a specific pattern, just type, type of breaking it up. The very, I do that for the, for the second two, so the army green and the earth brown. I use the leaves to break up the pattern. And then if you have an old uh, laundry, mesh laundry bag, that's what I use for the last coat. And we just run it over um, the rifle, right? Just take it and drape it over. That's what we did. Bryce held it there. and. Uh, then I hit it with the uh, one lighter spectrum of the, of the forest green to, to give it uh, a dotted effect, add some depth. Uh, I really like the look of the of the circle pattern on there. Uh, that's basically the process. You know, it's, it's paint, so if you want to darken it up once you're done, harder, you know, you can do that. And even if you think you got it too dark, you can go back with the sand, with uh, probably with the mesh bag, and hit that to get some some lighter dots on there and. Uh, It'll, it'll tend to lighten it up a bit. So it, you got some flexibility. So if you're trying to do this for the first time, don't get nervous about how it's gonna turn out. You can, you can make adjustments as you go. And this product looks really good. It's a little lighter than the two that he did for himself. And that was kind of what we were, we were liking. And it just shows you can kind of do whatever you want. Yeah, absolutely. You can, you know, if you looked at it and you want to darken it up, you can go back over dark. Uh, even if you go too dark, you can go back to the sand, the base coat, yeah. and especially with like a mesh bag, yeah. spray, spray through that and it'll, it'll, it'll lighten it up some for you with a cool effect. Yeah, and this yeah. wasn't easy for you because we have lots of stuff on the scope on this one. This is a pretty intense scope and uh, we did some good taping and we got everything we need. So. Yeah. I think it looks good and I know Bryce likes it. He's excited. He wants to be the first one to shoot an animal with it. And I guess- It'll happen in October, yeah. October, October, I think, yeah. Yeah, if he doesn't do it in October, in November, let's see, the December, he's first one in in December too. So he's got two chances to be the guy that gets the first one. So there you go. I have a feeling he'll get it done. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, very thank, good. thanks for stopping by guys. Uh, thanks Les. Yeah, you're welcome, Appreciate man. you doing this. Pleasure. Thanks, Frank. Um, Till next time, don't forget to take those kids out shooting, hunting, yeah. fishing, and just get them out in the outdoors.